I feel a bit mixed about it, but in some ways I think it could be cool because like you said, Colin, a lot of people see this and think, Oh, Ubisoft is going to get out of writing their games or writing dialogue. And it's like that maybe could be true. Maybe that's a way they would use it. But I think that you're right in that the most compelling case would be a dynamic AI that is able to talk and respond in a way that makes sense to your character's actions that when you, when you talk about an open ended game, we've talked about mass effect these past few weeks and how it can only kind of boil down to so many ways. There can only be so many ways that they can program into a game for a character to react to what you're saying. But the idea of an AI being able to analyze all the players actions and respond in a very specific way, that's kind of intriguing Mm -hmm. to me. That's actually sounds pretty dang cool. If it's implemented correctly, especially if you're able to use an AI voice that sounds convincing in order to uh, make it say out loud the the things that the what, AI is writing. What for if it? it's only the AI voice from TikTok? Those TikTok videos, like went to the mall, you know, like that. Yeah. That. <laughs> what if it was only that voice that you? Yeah, that, yeah. Well, d- there's also like, wasn't there a Rocket Raccoon voice that people were using? Like they they kind of got wild with those those TikTok. Well, yeah, I voices. think to me, I think it's like that's the least of their problems at this point. To, to me, I I agree with what you're saying, which is that. In non-incidental contact, let's say, between character and NPC, could the NPC say a shit ton of different things to just make it fresh? And when you actually engage with the NPC in a meaningful way, then the written content comes in there. That to me, see, I saw some writers complaining about it, but I'm like, you really like writing this trash? Don't you want to focus on meaningful quest dialogue and and story driven beats and all that? Or you want to sit here and write? character barks that it's raining or something like that i, I don't I, to me I, I was a little surprised i guess maybe that's for the lower rung writers but it seems to make perfect sense to me well and i think it's important to point out too that anyone using one of these tools you're not just generating it and then putting it in the game all of these ai you need to go in and usually the first thing it spits out isn't necessarily what you use it gives you something and then you can either refine it from there or you can right. give the AI more specific instructions to get what you want. Right now it's barks, but undoubtedly in the future it'll be full script. Like undoubtedly, like we are headed to that point. And I think that's what people are afraid of. But that's not now, you know. And in the meantime, I do think AI is like you. I, I mean, I, I speak with a lot of animators who like, you know, they're animating and they're they're amazing artists and and they're they're doing great jobs. But you know, I, I've been in the room with these people while they're doing the work and is, and I've heard people say like, man, it'd be cool to have an an AI to do this in between that I don't care to do because it's a, you know, it's the, it's the grunt work that is ultimately kind of being thrown into the laps of robots. Now that will eventually become more complicated and that'll be a huge cause for concern later on. And I I sympathize with that fear. Like it's a huge, that's really deeply concerning, but it's also inevitable. And so while we're at a stage where we can use these tools to kind of assist creative people assist people who are good at what they do in such a way that it allows them to focus on what they love to do and and in turn hopefully make better things i think we should embrace that before we get lost in the kind of i don't know the the concerning like nihilism about like where this eventually leads like someone wrote in and i'm sorry i don't know your name because i i cut you out so i wouldn't i wouldn't put you on blast not that you would care or whatever but it said i asked chat gpt what video game character colin moriarty from last damn media is most similar to and this is what it said so this came from chat gb gp gpt trevor phillips from grand theft auto 5 like colin trevor is known for his sharp wit and irreverent sense of humor he also has a tendency to say things that are controversial much like colin's reputation for provocative statements handsome jack from borderlands 2 Handsome Jack is a charismatic villain who enjoys mocking his enemies. Colin has been known to challenge the status quo, which may be reminiscent of Handsome Jack's tendencies. Joel from The Last of Us. While Joel is not a comedic character like Colin, he is known for his gruff personality and his willingness to do whatever it takes to survive in a harsh world. Colin has also demonstrated a certain toughness and resilience in the face of criticism and controversy, which could make Joel a suitable comparison. Here's the problem I have with this. I appreciate that. That's really funny. And thank you for sending that in. But here's the here's what's fucked up about it. You can teach an AI math and there's a linear way to get the answer and it's always the same. 
and the way you get it is always the same. Language doesn't work at that level apart from the most basic dynamics of sentence structure. So what I mean by that is the fox jumps over the fence. That's horrible writing. It's also literal English. And anything beyond that would have to be fed by an actual person or writing that is stylistic and different from another person's writing. And the three of us would explain that the fox was leaping over the fence in different ways, right? And that in and of itself is what the, is what is being scraped. And that's what I have a problem with because they're stealing from us. And it's different than math. And I, this to me is the big differentiator. The, the art engines know what to do because they're stealing from artists. They don't know what to do because it's natural. There's no naturalistic law to art. Yeah. yeah. And so it, this thing is learning about how to write based on other people's writing, including the writers at Ubisoft, no doubt, which are the source probably of Ghostwriter's entire AI. And that to right. me is somewhat fucked. I don't, it, I don't yeah. think it's, I don't think it's avoidable, but it's no, fucked. Right, right. Because it's, somewhere deep in that algorithm, in that ghostwriter is like each writer. Yeah, and, a kernel, a kernel of like every single person who's ever written anything. Right. That it's combing through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. While, an, while a chess AI will always know how to beat you in chess. In fact, the chess AI will linearly and mathematically beat everyone in chess every time at this point. There's no, the chess engines are so sophisticated that you can't beat them. So that's clinical. That's just simple outwitting. But this is a but, different but, thing. This is art. And I have a problem it with does, it. Does uh, our our mannerisms and languages not just kind of a cobbled together infusion of everything we've kind of experienced, or every person that you know what I mean? Yeah, like sure, the way that but, we speak is is in, not necessarily inherited through like you know uh, blood or anything. It's it's inherited through experience with other people. Well, I think so, you're like, you right. Could argue. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Just, yeah. Well, what I was, no, gonna, I, what I was gonna say. Well, let me just get this in because I think, I, and I'll and I'll kick it back to you. Is that I think it's the way we speak is as true as two plus two is four, right? But I don't know that they're materially the same, right? In other words, okay. like you're absolutely right. It's it's a product of everything. Like I would have, I would speak Japanese in a Japanese accent if I had just grown up there. There's nothing right, about right. me that made me speak this way. You're right. I don't know if I believe this argument so i'm just putting it out there but there is an argument about ai that all of human knowledge and how we have learned to do things is from referencing people that have done it before us Mm. all artists reference other artists and often and there's like that line about like good artists steal or whatever copy blah 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 yeah great artists steal i think it's great artists steal so that's that's part of the argument with these ais like well maybe they are creating things in somewhat the same way that we have as humans by just cross-referencing what has already been created. So it's an interesting thing to think about. It's an uncomfortable thing to (laughs) wrestle with. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think part of being an artist and I don't really consider myself an artist. I'm a writer, which is an art, I guess, but one of the understated parts of being an artist is knowing what art is good and replicating that art. That's where movements come from. So there is, so there is, I guess, a natural tendency to copy, right? Like uh, all surrealism kind of looks like Dolly and, and other things. Like you can trace it all to that, right? And so maybe there's part of it where, yeah, so, what, so the machines are going to copy us too. You might be right. We, t- we, t- we talked last week about uh, the taxonomy, about how you can kind of, bridge everything together to one single obviously pong is 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 that or or uh, even earlier what was it space space war, war i think would be like the yeah like space war yeah. would be some weird space war in the start like the first video game with a monitor like a like a, a gp like a graphical interface was pong yeah yeah so i mean you know and that leads to oh i want to do something like that and then mm-hmm. that's galaga it's pac-man and then you know later on doom and then doom turns into you know, Bioshock and Bioshock turns into whatever the hell Bioshock turns into t- prey. It's a crazy, I, I don't know. It, it's, it's a, oh, this is too deep of a discussion to have on a PlayStation. Podcast. <laughs> it's, it's getting on anxiety. Yeah. Usually. It's very, it's very complicated and it is happening very fast. And I don't, I already don't believe things I see now. So we're definitely yeah. in the thick of it. 